What's going on everybody? Will Murphy here with Iron Wheel Fitness. Tonight's video is going to be about a little bit of a breakdown of how to read a nutrition label um, to make it a little bit easier for you to choose foods that are, that are healthy for you. So I got this bag of almonds here. It's one of the few things I have in the house that has a nutrition label right now. It's mostly fruit and, you know, uh, food for meal prep. I'm in full meal prep mode right now, but I figured I'd go ahead and make this video. Um, when you look at a nutrition label, the very first thing you want to look at is how many calories are in it per serving. Uh, it's 160 calories per serving of these almonds right here. Um, how many servings are in a, a container, 25, um, and the serving size, one ounce, which is about one uh, quarter cup of this. Now the first thing you're going to see when you go down is the total amount of fat in the food. Um, saturated fat is not necessarily bad. What you're looking for as far as fat you don't want in it is trans fat. You absolutely do not want trans fat in any of your food. Um, you want to look at your cholesterol, which is the next line down. Um, in this it's zero milligrams. You, you want to keep that as low as you can. Um, but having things like eggs have LDL in them instead of HDL which is a little bit better for you. In, in the long run, you do need certain levels of cholesterol in your blood for proper function. Um, total carbohydrate is what comes next after that. Um, there's six grams of carbs in uh, one serving of nuts. That's about a quarter of a cup. And total sugars, you need to look for that because uh, any sugars added to it are gonna be added sugars for, to help with the flavor. So total sugars is one gram so it's really not too much to worry about what you need to worry about is when you get up over 10 grams and things like that i mean you should be worried about however much sugar is added to whatever food you're eating but as long as you can keep it low the lower the better um protein six grams okay so a serving of nuts that's a quarter cup has six grams of protein in it the next big thing you want to look at is down here at your ingredients list um, ingredients almonds that's it if you have food that has more than one ingredient you need to look at those ingredients if they're words that you can't pronounce it's they're adding things that you absolutely do not need so you're looking for foods that on their ingredients list only have the ingredient of what you're buying if you're looking if you're trying to get chicken you're looking for chicken that only says chicken under the ingredients they have to list what the main ingredient the number one ingredient is first so if that says sugar definitely out of the question you shouldn't be having that at all um and i mean when you're looking at bread if you're wanting to get uh like a whole grain bread or something like that then it'll say whole grain right here okay if you if you uh are getting wheat bread it should it will probably start with uh enriched flour on there um as far as what they're using to as the main ingredient of that so the first ingredient is always what it, it mainly consists of um, so if you're getting like when you when you put bread back in your diet if you're getting like a whole grain bread if it says um, enriched flour on there as its first ingredient that is not whole grain bread because that flour has been um, processed okay and you're really going for things that haven't been processed so things to look out for are you know how many ingredients each food has number one number two whether it comes in a box or a bag um, things like this clearly not processed uh, come in a bag but usually if it comes in a box like Cheez-Its and you know uh, anything like that you know bags chips uh, cereals things like that they're all, they're all not good for you and uh, I mean you can have them but like super sparsely you want to you want to maintain a diet that has more whole foods in it which you know like that bag of almonds the only ingredient listed on it is almonds so that makes it a whole food you know it's it's that by itself that makes it a whole food um so when you're going over a nutrition label like that make sure that you look and see what kind of fat content it has especially what kind of sugar content it has um, try to keep sugar and cholesterol as low as possible in your foods. Also, watch out for how high the sodium content of your foods are because um, sodium can lead to bloating. Uh, I mean, granted, yeah, it's good to have some salt in your food. It helps break down the food in your, in your gut and things like that. But 
uh, you don't want to have it be overly salty or sodium laden, you know. Um, and then, you know, look and see how much protein's in it so you can monitor your protein intake for the day because I definitely think that you should keep your eye on protein most of all. A lot of people have trouble getting enough protein in their diet. Um, of course, you can have uh, meats and things like that that will help you get your protein up. Um, chicken is 8.4 uh, grams of protein per ounce so definitely worth looking into having chicken in your diet um, you know also uh, like uh, any kind of fish or seafood has a lot of protein fish in particular has omega-3 fatty acids which are really good for uh, your heart for cognitive function for overall digestion things like that that's how you look at a food label and that's how you need to consider uh, your breakdown for how you're trying to uh, get nutritious food into your diet. You're just trying to keep your uh, Overall the bad things that are in your food as low as possible because it's almost impossible not to have them in your foods um, But eating whole foods and having that be the main and only ingredient in your food is definitely the best way to ensure that you're having Everything that you need in your diet for the best results possible later to fuel your body for your workouts and uh, recovery after in between so anyhow I know I kind of stuttered a little bit through this video. I was kind of a little bit nervous on how to do all that. But anyway, that's all been said. Video is about over. Uh, remember to check out my YouTube. It's Iron Will Fitness on YouTube uh, to catch up on all these videos and things like that. Um, remember to like, comment, and share because it helps me reach more people. I'll have your videos for your workouts for tomorrow up later on tonight. And I hope you all had a good day. Tomorrow we start the very beginning of week th four of this and we're almost done so um, yeah we just got through week three tomorrow's day 22 today's day 21 so uh, tomorrow starts week four and you know that means we got you know a week and a couple of days left before we're through our 30 days I hope everyone views this and I will see you tomorrow peace